Yo, what is good with y'all? This is Nick Mirror from Internet Money, and today I'm going to be making a FL Studio hotkey slash shortcut tutorial. Now, this has been long awaited on this channel. Y'all been asking for this for the longest, so I figured, you know, me the hotkey king, you know, might as well deliver it to y'all myself. So, in this video, I'm just going to do like different sections. So, use this different hotkeys in this section of FL Studio, this hotkeys in, uh, or these hotkeys in over here. Anyway, you know what I mean. Um, at the end of each session, I will have a picture on the screen that shows all the hotkeys I said, and then I'll get to the next section. So, I'm in FL Studio 11, and these work for FL 12, FL 12.5, and yeah, all that. So, with that being said, I'm Nick Merritt, and let's get straight into this tut. First off, we're going to be going over file operations hotkeys in FL Studio. The first one on this is Control O. This is open file can open files we have here control s save file control n save new version of the file control shift s is save as you know for new projects in the example control r export wave control shift r export mp3 control shift m export midi and for MIDI, I'd suggest uh, exporting straight from the piano roll. So do Control Shift M here. Alt plus one of the numbers zero through nine on your uh, keyboard will open up your one of your recent projects as labeled right here on the right. Alt plus one, two, etc., etc. Control F to Smart Find in your browser on the left. Next up on our list, we have the pattern selector hotkeys. The first one is um, number pad one through nine, selects the different number of patterns. Pattern seven would be number seven, pattern five would be five, etc. etc. The number pad plus key goes to the next pattern. Number pad minus key goes to the previous pattern. Arrow right goes to the next pattern arrow left to the previous pattern. F4 enables a new pattern, the next empty pattern. Now we're going to be talking about channel window and step sequencer hotkeys. Um, for these numbers, I'm going to be talking about the top of the keyboard, not the keypad on the right side of the keyboard. So 0 through 9 select or mute slash unmute different channels here. If we make a bunch of channels here, we can 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and redo them all. Control plus 0, 1 through 9 will actually solo the certain patterns. Or you could just do right click and then solo. If you click right click and then you uh, look at all these underlined uh, letters and numbers these are actually the hotkeys that can be used to access the next thing so right click then P would be piano roll right click then R would be rename right click and then T would be cut itself right click then E would be edit and then you have T for cut C for copy E for paste it's and then R for randomize now I do utilize these the most I would do right click E open edit then C for copy right click E for edit E for paste or you could select the channel right here do control C and then control V to paste control Z to undo control V to paste so again control C to copy control V to paste control Z to undo Control Z to undo and Control Alt Z to keep undoing. Control Shift Z to redo. I'll well, just Control Z, I mean. Go over here, let's do Alt Z, which is to zip the channels. Alt U is to unzip. Or you could just right click the pattern channel. Alt G is to group selected channels.
Now these channels are all in one group. You can select different groups here. Shift arrow up. Move to the next channel to, uh, to select. Shift arrow up or shift arrow down. Move to the next channel to select. Page up and page down. Go to the next uh, channel groups. Control X to cut. Control Shift C to clone. Let's say I have notes in the channel in the step sequencer. Alt P to send to piano roll. Alt R to randomize. Velocity, panning, release, mod X, mod Y, pitch. K is going to be our keyboard editor. Edit the notes here. G is going to be show graph editor. Now we're going to get into the mixer hotkeys. Alt plus left arrow slash right arrow is move select to mixer track to the left or right. Alt L select the channels linked to the selected mixer track. So say I'm right here, select it on this channel. Alt L would bring me back to this channel in the step sequencer. Control L is link selected channel to the selected mixer track. Let's say I'm on five. Open up this channel, control L, send to mixer track, or I could select insert three, click this, control L, control shift L, link selected channel starting from selected mixer track, let's say I select all of these, control shift L, F2, rename selected mixer track. S, solo current track. Alt S, alt solo. Alt R is to render arm tracks to wave. And when you do Alt R, make sure you have this little box down here clicked and your pattern on the song over here. Alt R, start rendering, now it's wave. Now we're going to get into the most important section for hotkeys, the piano roll. First off, I'm going to start off by saying the letters which you can activate different tools. By pressing down B, we can activate the paint tool. C for the slice tool, which can also be accompanied with shift and left click to do straight vertical lines and chops. D for the delete tool. Or while using P, the pointer tool, you can right click to activate the delete tool. Double right click to activate mute. Or press T for mute. Next up we have E, or the select tool. Or while using P, the pointer tool, we can do control plus left click to activate the selecting tool. O for portamento. for pencil tool, Y for playback tool, Z for the zoom tool, or while using P the pencil tool we can do control right click zoom. Now we have alt. Alt can be used to bypass the snap that is set in the top left corner. Instead of having it snap to the lines if we hold down alt and then select it we can adjust it freely. Alt-A for arpeggiator. Alt-B to view note helpers. Alt-C to change color of selected notes. So let's say you open up a MIDI and it's full of red notes and it won't work. Like this. We do Alt-C, it changes it all. Change it back to 1 for green. Alt-C, back to normal. Alt-E is the riff machine. Create chords and progressions. 
Alt F can be used with two notes to fly them, or one note. Alt F. Alt G can be used to ungroup selected notes. So let's say we use Alt U to chop these notes right here, and then click group notes. We can do Alt G, ungroup them. Right here to connect these notes, we can do Control L for legato. Now we'll use Alt L for articulate. Alt N to switch waveform helper. So let's say we have our piano roll open and we have a waveform on it. So you want to get rid of this, we would do Alt N, Alt Q to quantize notes. So let's say we have notes that aren't long line, we'll do Alt Q to quantize snap them or we can use shift Q to quick quantize alt S to strum this is good for making piano sound more humanistic or human slash realistic alt V turns on ghost channels let me show you what that's like but in a different channel I want to see the notes used on other channels, you know, to match a scale, I'd use Alt-V. Now we're going to select these notes, doing Control-A, and then Control-B to duplicate them, and then Control-D to deselect. If you're not selecting the notes, you can still do Control-B, paste them over to the next open spot. We'll say we want this note duplicated to the next open uh, snap, control B. Control L is to quick legato as stated earlier. Alt Y can be used to flip the notes vertically or horizontally, maybe even both sometimes. You can also preserve, preserve start times, excuse me. Alt X can be used to open scale levels. I'm not uh, too fond of this uh, hotkey right here. I never use it. Alt plus the mouse wheel can change the selected note property of the note. And you can use F to change through the properties of the notes, such as fine pitch, pan, velocity, can be seen on the bottom right here. Next up, we can do Control X to cut selection, open up a new piano roll, Control V to paste. Control C to copy, Control V to paste again. And if we do Control Alt G, we can activate the grid color. Say I wanted to make my grid black. Okay, now it's darker. Alright, so with all those hotkeys being stated in this video, um, I'm about to bounce, but it's been Nick Mirror for Internet Money, showing you guys all the hotkeys that I use and know in FL Studio. It works with, you know, 11, 12, 13, 14, etc, etc. So yeah, um, say in the comment section for other people, you know, some hotkeys that you didn't hear in this video, because I went over um, under 100 and there's about 250, or I went around uh, 100 to 200, so yeah, um, share those. With that being said, uh, Nick Mirror, Internet Money, I'm out.